All right, Rog Chakram Core uh, attempt at final thoughts before returning number two. Hopefully this will be shorter. Um, main things, the hump is nice and broad. Feels like an outset, actually. <laughs> um, just not quite as bulbous on the left. So, yeah, it, it, it does kind of have that Rival 300 feel, except it doesn't flare out quite enough under your pinky. Um, for how wide the hump is, if, if it was going to be really, really supportive. Scroll wheel is nice. Main clicks are nice. Thump mouse 5 is really nice. Mouse 4 is too tapered and small and, and, and high. So I really have to move my thumb and push on it. Otherwise, I, I can't hit it without hitting mouse 5 as well. Um, the joystick is interesting. I, I should have played around with it more. But I feel like for my hand size, it just it sits too far forward on the mouse. And if I wanted to use it, and if I wanted to try and employ this mouse for what it's designed to do in terms of the, the real advantage it offers over other products, um, I would need a longer hand. So I don't think I can justify keeping it for that. But it is a better, basically it's a better G502. Um because it is actually wide enough for hands <laughs> big enough to want a mouse this size. Um, I just, yeah, I wish it had a little bit more support for the pinky. And then um, they move the scroll wheel slightly further forward. That would probably be the, the two things, other than, than rearranging the side buttons and potentially moving the, uh, the joystick slightly further back. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's about all that comes to mind. The materials are fine. It's easy to lift. Uh, the, you know, the button quality is, is good. Um, even if the placement and the sizing is a bit awkward. Um, and, and I definitely prefer this shape to the, the 502. So I don't know. I mean, maybe that means I should try the basilisk, but, um, essentially it feels dense. It feels heavy and there's some some annoying stuff like this rattle um, when you tap the rear shell that comes from this type of one magnet and then one plastic clip construction, which just isn't sufficient for like better felt cues and build quality. I mean, I don't know. It feels immensely solid and sturdy, like it's. It's not a fragile mouse or a poorly put together mouse. Even the tolerances on these pieces are pretty good, but just having this rattle is annoying enough that I notice it. It bothers me. Um, yeah, anyway, the, the weight, potentially because there's weight out here over the front end and it's longer than I'm used to, it, it feels heavy. It feels slightly cumbersome to aim even when it's in a bungee. Um... It's a 95 gram mouse that feels like a hundred gram mouse. It's still usable for gaming, but if I were going to use it, I would need a really compelling reason to use it. Like the Intelli, where it's like, it's literally my favorite shape of all time. And the clicks are fucking incredible. Um, this, I mean, it has really good clicks, but I just don't need a mouse like this. Um, and so because the joystick thing doesn't really work for me, and because, therefore, this doesn't do much for me over a 518, um, I can't justify paying three and a half times as much for it. 